with for point three quickly approaching. And how much Genshin has changed since Ayaka last rerun today, you will be covering. How to approach considering Ayaka and the best way to build her. Now Ayaka has already ran a handful of times, but given the introduction of Farina her permafreeze team can be put to a whole new level. So from old players who didn't get her before, or those who are wanting her constellations to the new players who have never pulled for her. This is how great Ayaka, with a high base crit damage, and high damage from her elemental burst Ayaka is an amazing DPS. Her easy cryo application also makes her amazing for most if not all reaction cups, which involve cryo and her sprint being even more beneficial for both exploration and combat. Though no character doesn't come without downfalls, at least I don't think so. Nonetheless the two main things you will need to consider when playing her, is her high energy cost on her burst, and her charged attacks and sprints will need you to keep an eye on your stamina. Nonetheless she's an amazing choice of DPS, especially when it comes to cryo with a simple build to go with her too. Starting off with weapons as always the best in slot, will be her signature Miss Splinter Reforged, but optionally you could try Yato's weapon Haran Gepiku Futsu, which you could last minute pull for. If you aren't sure you'll get a Yaka's weapon, or you could also try Primordial Jade Cutter. No luck with 5 stars, well that's okay. The top 3 best for star weapons for her are the Black Sword, Amino Makajuchi and Black Cliff Long Sword. Now the thing we love and hate, Artifacts. Luckily Ayaka is simple when it comes to artifacts, with her best being a simple for Peace Blizzard Strayer but you could also try a to Peace Blizzard and to Peace Gladiator or a to Peace Blizzard and to Peace Nobelis. Substats are the same as always with a DPS, crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, you get the idea. As for the last thing which really should be the first talents, focus on her burst then her normal attack and then her skill. And finally for team comps. Of course she works best on a perma freeze team due to her insane cryo application. Now for this team, the recommended characters to make the most use out of Ayaka are Shen, Jean and Farina. Now this is a very premium team for Ayaka. So if you're more free to play base you could consider trying other characters such as Kazuha, Sucrose, Mona, Sayu or Mika. Freeze not the way you want to go. You could also try a reverse melt team consisting of Ayaka, Shangling, Nahida and Jonli. This again is a rather premium team. So some other characters you could use would be Kale, Kazuha, Sucrose, Bennett or Yayao. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide and if you want to see more guides like this, then why not hit the subscribe button. And with that I'll see you all later. Bye.